everyone welcome back to my channel we are back with another hair and makeup tutorial little get ready with me situation i'm so excited to show you guys how i got this look we got this flawless soft glam going on plus this wig it's giving all of the summer vibes like let's have a fancy tea party and drink some tea with our pinkies up <laughs> but yeah so this is the look that we're going to be getting into i hope you guys enjoy as always don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that little notification bell before before we get started i'm gonna go ahead and do my hair first and then we'll get into the makeup look the hair that i'm using today is from hair vivi shout out to them for sponsoring today's video this wig that we're using today is freaking flawless it's everything so along with the wig it came with a little satin bag to store it away some hair clips to help with our install and a little edge comb this is pretty much the wig that we're going to be installing today this is hair vivi's kylie wig it's a short bob unit super super cute perfect for the summer having a short unit during the summertime is just like at this point in my life it's like a must because it's just so so hot and having like inches going down your back in this humidity and heat is like oh man as much as i love it sometimes it's just nice to have a bob unit so i'm loving this wig and like the length of it it's such a classy type of look too very ladylike anyway one of the things that i loved most about this wig is the construction it actually comes with a fake scalp installed on the inside so you definitely don't need to do the bald cap method like this is one of those wigs where you can throw on like a black stocking cap and call it a day it does come with hd lace which is also a plus the knots are already bleached the hairline is already pre plugged so I didn't have to do anything anything to this wig this wig was so easy to install which is another reason why I love it so much and to secure the wig down even more you've also got an elastic band and some combs on the inside so this baby ain't going nowhere one of my favorite parts about this wig too is the size of the lace it's 13 by 6 so you're getting a lot of like parting space it's giving flawless okay <laughs> it's giving flawless this is supposed to be a glueless unit so you definitely don't need any hair glue or anything like that to install this Wig. Uh, you guys already know I like to use Eben's lace adhesive so I just use a couple layers of that on the sideburns to hold it in place. So once I was done securing that lace with that ebon adhesive, I made sure to cut away all of the extra. I did a little close up here so you can really see like how freaking flawless this lace is. Whew, it's, this is definitely like one of my favorite wigs that I've used ever. So like I mentioned before, you get a lot of free parting space. This is a 13 by 6 lace unit. You guys already know I love a good side part. So I definitely wanted to go ahead and do like a side part. I feel like a side part is just like my signature. Like anytime I don't know what the heck I want to do with my hair i don't know what to do for styling i'm just like let me just go ahead and do a side bar <laughs> so that's pretty much the look that we're going for today i used my hot comb to make sure everything is super super flat but honestly i didn't even have to do much to get this wig to lay flat it kind of like was already doing that on its own like i swear guys this wig is giving it, it was just so easy to install like and i love it i'm so here for it i can't wait to install this wig again actually because it took me like literally maybe 20 minutes to do the install and maybe like another 20 minutes to style it like curl it and everything like that so so i can only imagine like how quickly you can like install this hair when everything is already like the lace is already cut you know what i mean like i feel like it would be so 
and I'm here for it. <laughs> but yeah, so I ended up doing a side part. I used my hot comb to make sure everything was super flat, a little hairspray to kind of help that out as well. I've been using the ORS olive oil hairspray. Like this whole olive oil line of products that this company has has just been like super bomb. And now that the hair is parted, you can really see like how that fake scalp that was going on, like the mesh underneath that you saw earlier, how it's like just pushing through, giving us scalp, just making this install that much better because we don't have to do the bald cap method. Like it's already done for us. I definitely kept everything super soft and natural with the edges. I still went in with my curling wand to help me style them, make it easier to create those little spoops, but I only pulled a little bit of hair to the front. This hairline looks super flawless and natural. So I kind of wanted to keep that same vibe going, but I still use like the same technique that I always use. So going in with that curling wand to create those swoops and using that same ORS hairspray to lay the hairs down. And then to curl the hair, I used a one inch flat iron. I kept it really simple. I honestly just wanted like a swoop that's like literally all I wanted with this hair. It was like, I just knew for a fact that I wanted to do like a swoop bang since I did like a really nice side part. I curled the hair backwards for the bangs. I went in with some scissors and just trimmed it up a little bit to create some extra layers. And then for the ends, I curled them inwards. I was kind of going for like that 90s, like supermodel type of vibe, like Christy Turlington when she had like her short haircut and everything. But yeah, <laughs> honestly, the fact that this hair was already pre-cut like really well, made curling it super easy. All I had to do was create some extra layers for the bangs. But that is the finished look, guys. I'm so obsessed. This hair turned out so, so cute. I cannot wait to wear this wig again. It's such a cute little bob. Thank you so much to Hair VV for sending over this wig. They also offer free shipping and return service as well. So definitely don't forget to check the description box for a link to the wig that I'm wearing. So now that we're all done with the hair, let's go ahead and move into this makeup look. All right, guys. So we're gonna start off with some skincare. I've been loving Peach and Lily's Glass Skin Refining Serum. Ooh, this stuff is amazing. It just gives like that perfect, like glowy, dewy look to the skin. One of my favorite products to use when prepping the skin for foundation. Then for moisturizer, I've been really loving Elf's Holy Hydration Moisturizer. This stuff is amazing. It has a little bit of SPF in it, which I love as well. And then of course I gotta go in with a little bit of eye cream. This is Peach and Lily's Retinoic eye cream, another favorite of mine from them. I love how well this absorbs into the skin before concealer so it doesn't mess up like the texture or make my concealer look weird later on. So while all of those products are like absorbing into the skin, you know, getting the skin right, I'm gonna go ahead and work on the eyes. I did one eye off camera just to kind of get that out of the way. I wanted to do a look that's like super soft because you guys already know I've been super into soft glam these days. It's just been like the vibe for me. Can't get away from from it, love it, it's, you know, it's just my thing right now. So, you know, sorry for everybody that's been asking for more dramatic looks, like soft glam has just been like the vibe right now. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and start priming the eyes using some concealer. I'm using Makeup Forever's Matte Velvet Skin Concealer in shade 4.5. I like to use a concealer that's a little bit closer to my skin tone um, because I wanna make sure that all of this blends into the skin really well when I go in with my foundation and all that. I'm also gonna set that with a little bit of powder. Any translucent powder is fine, doesn't matter which one you're using. So I just kind of use whatever powder I know I'm gonna be using to set the rest of my face. But yeah, for the eyes, I'm keeping everything pretty neutral neutral but still very warm toned. I use Stacey Marie's Carnival 4 palette with Be Perfect Cosmetics, also known as the Antidote palette. This palette is perfect for anybody that loves like warm toned neutral shade. I love how this palette also transitions so well into like different seasons. Like it's perfect for the summertime, perfect for the fall, perfect for the winter. Like this is such a good staple palette to have in your kit, especially if you're doing client makeup. There's warm toned browns, there's rosy type of colors, olives, khakis, shimmers. It's a really, really good palette. I use a few shades from there for the crease, the outer corner, and the lid space. This eye look that I'm doing is definitely inspired by an artist that I found on Instagram. She did like a winged liner and like a pop of color on the waterline. So that's pretty much kind of what I did for the eyes. So I went ahead and did a nice bold wing using some black eyeliner from Giorgio Armani. It's always hard for me to use a pencil 
liner to do like a nice precise wing. So I went ahead and rubbed some of that eyeliner on the back of my hand and just used a, um, a brush to apply that. And then for mascara, I used Pat McGrath's Dark Star Mascara. Just did a couple coats of that on the top lashes. I'm then gonna add my liner to the waterline. I use a little pop of green from this uh, eyeliner palette from Sheen Cosmetics. These are water activated liners. You guys have seen me use these before. So you just add a little bit of water to them, you mix it around and it creates like a perfect eyeliner that you can use for like graphic eyeliner looks. Today I used it on the waterline. These little palettes are perfect if you wanna play around with like different eyeliner colors, but you don't wanna buy like a ton of single ones. These palettes come with nine different shades and you can actually mix colors together and create like your own custom shade or you can use them as is and all you need is a little bit of water and that's it. I used a little light green, like pastel green shade on the waterline and I just extended that line to meet with the wings liner that we added on the upper lash line. So that's pretty much it for the eyes. I just added a lash. The lashes that I'm using are from Eben. They're the same company that does the lace adhesive that I use to secure my lace wigs. I bought these from the beauty supply store. Don't sleep on the beauty supply store for lashes, guys. They've really liked up their game over the years and I've been finding like so many cute lash styles at the beauty supply store. I'll leave a link to these particular lashes down below in the description box. So I'm gonna move on to foundation now. I'm using a mixture of two different foundations. One is from Danessa Myricks. This is her new Yummy Skin foundation in shade 15 neutral. And I mix that with Huda Beauty's, I think it's Faux Filter. Is it Faux Filter? Yes, Faux Filter foundation. And this one is in shade 440 Golden, if I'm not mistaken. But again, I'll make sure to leave it in the description box along with all the other products that I use for this look. But I've been really, really loving the Danessa Myricks foundation, guys. It's such a good foundation, perfect for the summertime. It's really lightweight. I picked a shade that's a little too light for me, so that's the reason why I'm mixing it with the Huda Beauty foundation to kind of deepen it up a little bit. For concealer, I went in with Makeup Forever's Matte Velvet Skin Concealer. I applied it onto the under eyes, but kind of let it sit there for a little bit, you know, let it marinate. But I let it like sit there for a little bit and did like my cream contour first. So for cream contour, I used Huda Beauty's Tantor Bronzer and Contouring Cream in shade medium. Then I went back and blended out that concealer. I've been super obsessed with the liquid and cream blushes. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but these little blush sticks from M Cosmetics have definitely been a vibe. <laughs> like this one is in shade Bitten. It's like a nice, like cute, warm toned pink. So it looks beautiful underneath like peachy toned blushes, pink blushes. But yeah, these ones are like super cute and I've been loving them. So I'm gonna add that to the cheeks to blend it in. This will be my last cream slash liquid product. So now I'm gonna start setting everything with powder. I haven't used this powder in so, so long, but it's a really, really good one. This one is from Dermablend. It's their loose translucent powder. That Chanel powder is definitely an investment. <laughs> it's definitely like a little on the pricier side. So sometimes I gotta take a break from it, even if you know what I mean, and you know, use something else because she's she's a little on the pricier side <laughs> but this dermablend powder is a really really good one i'm then gonna go in with just a little bit of powder foundation i'm using shade 235 on the under eyes to give it a little bit of extra brightness because i didn't want to go too heavy with like my bake this time around so i figured a little powder foundation would add like the perfect amount of brightness so i use 235 on the under eyes and then i use shade 370 to set the rest of the face and and I think this might be like my new way of like doing my under eyes like to set and everything like that because it's like giving flawless like the eye under eyes look snatched <laughs> then for powder bronzer I use one from colored rain this is their um, Cinebe bronzer definitely a favorite of mine I'm gonna add that to the forehead the cheekbones and a little on the nose then I'm gonna go in with that Huda Beauty powder their easy bake loose setting powder in shade blondie and we're gonna snatch snatch the sides of the nose. So like I mentioned before, I didn't wanna to go too crazy with like my bake. So I kept it 
kind of just like on the sides of the nose and the bridge of the nose. So I didn't take it all the way like underneath the eyes. Just, you know, keep it on the sides of the nose there because that's kind of where I want the brightness to be anyway. While it's baking, I'm gonna add my powder blush. I'm going in with one of my OG favorites. This is BH Cosmetics Bellini Blush Palettes. It has a bunch of different like peachy toned blushes. You guys know how much I love peach blush. So, so this is like one of my go-to products. Like I use this all the time. <laughs> I'm then gonna add my little beauty marks. I don't know what's been going on, but I've just been like getting all of these new beauty marks on my face. I don't know what's happening. I definitely don't mind because I like to like, you know, play them up using makeup and everything, but it's like, it's <laughs> it's just so unusual because they're just like popping out of nowhere. I don't know where they're coming from, but you know, it's fine. Like, I don't mind. <laughs> They look cute. Anyways, moving on to brows. <laughs> I've been loving like a more snatched brow these days. I feel like I go through phases with my brows. Like sometimes I like a snatched brow. Sometimes I like them fluffy. So I've been using this KVD brow pomade in shade medium brown. It's been like my go-to right now. And then just a little bit of brow gel just to keep the brow hairs in place. Gonna dust off that bake next and add my nose highlight. I'm using the super cute pink tones highlighter from Kaleidos Makeup. I think it's called Star Surfer if I'm not mistaken. Such a cute color though. I actually did a little bit of highlight on my cheeks today too. Ooh. <laughs> I haven't done that in so long like I've been like super into like mattes like flawless skin so I've been skipping out on like highlighter on my cheeks but today I was like you know I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do a little bit just a little bit and it looks super cute like the pink kind of goes with like the the whole look so I'm not mad at it I kind of went with more of like a pink tones lip today too to match with the highlight so I'm gonna line using Melt Cosmetics all day everyday lip liner in shade edible along with this lip liner from Urban Decay I'm gonna go in with that one first because it's the lighter of the two. Then I'll use that Melt Cosmetics one after to add a little bit of extra definition. For my lip color, I'm using Danessa Myrick's Color Fix in shade Creme Brulee. It's a really cute, like soft pink type of color. So I'm gonna tap that onto the center of the lips and just make sure to blend it really well into the liner. It's one of my favorite things about these color fixes from Danessa Myrick's. Like you can literally use them for anything, for the eyes, the face, the lips. Like they're meant to be like super versatile like that. And we're definitely gonna add a gloss. Like I felt like a gloss was a must for this look. So I mixed two glosses together. One is from Soap and Glory. This is one of their plumping lip glosses. And I also use a gloss from Artist Couture that has a nice cute like pinky type of tone to it. Lots of glitter, so it's super girly. I love this little combo together. It's such a cute look. And then we're gonna finish this look off with some setting spray. I'm using the Professional Super Setter Setting Spray from Benefits. And that completes this look, guys. I really hope you enjoyed today's hair and makeup tutorial. Definitely let me know what you think of the look down below in the comments. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching guys, sending lots of love and hopefully I will see you in the next one.